Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers, and in this video we've got two big cushioned, big mileage, big hitters going head to head. We've got the Brooks Ghost Max versus the Asics Gel Nimbus 26. Both of these shoes are built for easy miles and maximum comfort, but which one's best? Watch on to find out in our head to head review. Let's give you some details first. Stack heights then. The Nimbus 26 has 42 mils in the hill, 34 in the forefoot for an eight mil drop. The Ghost Max packs 39 mils in the hill, 33 in the forefoot for a six mil drop. On weight, the Asics Gel Nimbus 26 comes in at 11.1 ounces or 314 grams in a UK eight and a half. The Ghost Max, meanwhile, tipped the scales at 10.3 ounces or 293 grams in a UK eight and a half. When it comes to price, the Nimbus 26 are $160 or 180 pounds. The Ghost Max comes in a chunk cheaper at 140 pounds or $150. Quick shoe whip round then, let's start with the midsoles. The Nimbus 26 midsole remains largely the same with a big wide stack of Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco Foam that's made with 20% bio-based content. It's tuned medium soft to soft with a bit of rebound. Plus there's a familiar kind of pure gel heel insert here, section of springy rebounding material incorporated into the midsole to create soft cushion landings with maximum impact absorption. You also get a rocked midsole geometry that aims to provide smooth transitions. Looking then at the Ghost Max, this features soft DNA loft version two foam in its big stack. That's also tuned medium soft to soft and there's rock ring here too. Now both shoes balance the big stacks with big, broad, wide cushioned platforms to run off. They also both use rockers to smooth the transitions. Up top, the Ghost Max has engineered mesh uppers while the Nimbus 26 have engineered stretch knit uppers those Nimbus uppers are thicker with slightly less flex. There's big padded heel cords on both. The Ghost Max non-gusseted tongues are more padded than traditional than Nimbus stretchy knitted gusseted tongues. If you flip them over, both shoes have pretty liberal coverings of quite thick outsole rubber. There's possibly a few more exposed areas on the Nimbus 26 here than on the Ghost Max, but all the important areas are covered on both shoes. So when it comes to fit and testing, I ran in my regular UK eight and a half running shoe size in both of these shoes. In the Nimbus 26, the fit was good for me with plush stepping comfort that you expect from a Nimbus. The padded collars hold the heels well, the tongues boost the plushness overall, and those uppers wrap quite snugly, but there's ample room in the toe box to flex those toes. You know, there's enough room for them to feel sort of spacious. It's a bit of flex in the uppers there. I've got decent lace lock down across the midfoot too from these shoes. Comfort and fit here I think is reliable and I would recommend going true to size in those. When it comes to the Ghost Max, they also fit well true to size for me. The fit again is quite snug. I found it hugging rather than roomy, particularly in the toe box around the little pinkies. But there's enough flex in the uppers across the top to avoid it getting restrictive. I've got good lockdown and heel hold and I had no problems running in my regular running shoe size. And so for both of these, I would recommend going true to size. So I found the fit of both of these shoes was perfectly good in my normal running shoe size. I'm a UK nine with both of these brands. That's a US 10 uh, and they can be fairly roomy, these shoes, because you know, I'm between a US 9.5 and a 10, but I found that the fit was good for me. There's lots of room in the toe box, you know, maybe slightly too much room for some people, but that's about where I like it for easy run shoes like this to have a full thumbs width of space in there. Decent hold around the heel and midfoot, comfortable amount of padding at the back there. So yeah, I was very happy in my normal running shoe size with both of these shoes. Now in my run tests, I've done north of 40 miles in the Nimbus and around 45 miles in the Brooks Ghost Max. That is a mix of paces, some good duration runs in both and on a combination of road and light off-road river paths, the usual kind of stuff. I've also done a side-by-side -side mile with one shoe on each foot and here is what I found. So I've just done my side-by-side -side mile. I've got the Brooks Ghost Max on the left foot. I've got the Nimbus 26 on the right foot. And as with the Max versus the Nimbus 25, the key here is how similar these shoes really are on the feet. They feel very, very similar indeed in terms of the fit, in terms of how they hold, in terms of that kind of plush comfort, in terms of the generally kind of roomy toe box, but the nice hug across the midfoot, the top of the midfoot on the feet these shoes feel very very similar they are plush cushioned cruisers made to go long and slow in comfort and you're getting that oodles of sort of padding around the heel collars nice hold there and you know big plush padded tongues all of that kind of thing here is very very similar between the two shoes now when i did the ghost max versus the nimbus 25 review i kind of said that i feel like brooks basically made a nimbus but made it slightly better and now I've got these both on my feet. I think that still rings true. There are some changes to the Nimbus 26 over the 25. I don't think I've progressed the Nimbus 26. You've got that kind of stiffer rubber outsole that makes the whole ride a little bit stiffer. I think a little more, bit more slappy 
and a little bit less comfortable than the Nimbus 25. The Nimbus 25 for me is still a better shoe. What that means here is I, I think overall, I prefer the ride of the Ghost Max. Now the Ghost Max, it feels a little bit flatter. There's not quite so much in the heel. So you do feel the difference in that kind of midsole stack volume where you've got a little bit of extra in the Nimbus 26, which some people might like. If you want a bit more cushioning under the heels, you land further back in your heels. Maybe you need that. I don't, I sort of tend to land midfoot to forefoot. So I like the fact that the Max feels a little flatter and it kind of rolls through a little bit easier and quicker for me. Now I've just done that mile, I prefer the Ghost Max. Basically the ride is just a little bit more natural. I think they roll through better. I think they're a little bit more precise. They're a little bit less shoe on the foot, even though both of these are big hulking great shoes. When you put them in that comparison, I think the Ghost Max just, just fits feels generally just a little bit more uh, easy to run in. So the Nimbus 26 is obviously a bit heavier and I think you do notice that on the foot marginally. I think that's basically down to the fact that you've got a sort of slightly wider forefoot platform and a slightly wider heel platform there than you have with the Ghost Max. And again, I think that adds to that, you know, the difference in that overall feeling of sort of compactness on the foot and the Ghost Max just edges it in terms of feeling a little bit more compact and a little bit more natural to run in as a result. I think the truth of the matter really is that choosing between these two shoes is very much about the margins and I think you could buy either of these shoes for the purpose of running easy and slow and long recovery miles that kind of thing and you're going to get a good performance out of both of them or at least an on-par performance out of both of them. The margins are kind of down to what your preferences are going to be and I'm going to sum up what mine are in the verdict and I'll let you know which of these two shoes I think I would go for personally. I've logged around 50 or 60k in both of these shoes and for the most part I've enjoyed running in both of them. I would class both of them very much as easy run shoes, the kind of shoes I'd have in my rotation just for those recovery runs, easy runs, the occasional long run but some versatility there especially with the brooks ghost max which we'll talk about a bit later but very much i found the best suited to those easy runs you've got a lot of comfort and protection underfoot neither are excessively soft or wobbly or anything like that you've got a decent amount of stability features in them things like wide bases and stuff like that without explicitly being stability shoes they are both comfortable and supportive and, and good for those easy runs at you know nice relaxed paces also a bit of running of both shoes on at the same time and i would say overall they've got a slightly softer feel with the asics gel nimbus 26 i'd say you get a little bit more sink in into the foam you have on this shoe a little bit maybe a slightly more bounce back as well but the brooks you've got a more noticeable rocker i'd say like the asics has a bit of a rocker going on it's a fairly smooth shoe but it's much clearer with the brooks ghost max it's got a slightly lower drop and you get that more fluid running sensation in the shoe i'd say despite the fact the foam isn't particularly impressive i don't think underfoot you're not getting a lot of bounce out of it or anything like that but the overall geometry of the shoe is well set up that you can roll through miles especially at easy paces very comfortably in the shoe got a bit more of a snap through from the asics gel nimbus 26 slightly softer foam maybe a slightly springier foam but don't think that amounts to a better run feel I probably prefer the rocked feel of the Brooks, which is still very comfortable despite the fact it is a little bit firmer, but then has that slightly more fluid transition, which not only I think makes it more enjoyable at easy paces, I do like a nice rocket shoe for that kind of run. It does, I think, give the Ghost Max a little bit more versatility uh, than the Asics Gel Nimbus 26 for me. Ghost Max, I think, could almost be viewed as a cushion daily trainer, especially if you're a newer runner who wants just a nice protective shoe to use for all your runs. I think it does that job pretty well because you've got that rocker there, done a little bit of faster stuff in this shoe, and it, you know, it copes with it okay. Like someone like myself, like I say, I've got running shoe rotation, I'd be using speedier shoes for fast runs, but one shoe runners who want a protective option first and foremost, Ghost Max does the Deliver that protection but then that rocker the way the ride rolls through so nicely i think does make it fairly suitable for faster runs as well so that gives it a little bit of edge i think on the gel nimbus which just doesn't feel good i think trying to move at fast paces i have done one session in this shoe and it's just a bit big and hefty you slap through a little bit onto the forefoot when you do those kind of runs it's actually not quite so comfortable when you're running fast in the shoe because it doesn't have the most fluid transition like i say you get a very snappy feel and i got a little bit of forefoot discomfort when i was running fast in the shoe it's a big old shoe it doesn't have much really going for the geometry to move you along at anything other than easy paces so do like it as a comfortable shoe for those easy runs but i think if you're looking at versatility you get a bit more from the brooks and it's a slightly more nimble shoe as well the brooks so yeah i think overall i prefer the ride feel of the brooks both of them very much mainly designed for those easy cruises like i say but I not only prefer the more rocket feel you get with the Brooks for those easy runs, I also find it a little bit better if you are going to try and use it for anything uh, pushing past easy paces. Verdict then, and first up I'm going to say I much prefer the Nimbus 25, and I'd recommend that over the 26 that's on test here. And it's a much closer call between the 25 and the Ghost Max. For me the 26 is a bit more slappy, not quite as smooth as its predecessor. Still there's not much to choose between the 26 
and the Ghost Max when it comes to comfort, on fit, on stability and on durability. They're very closely matched shoes. What you do notice is the extra weight in the Nimbus 26. And there's quite a big difference on price here, 40 pounds in the UK at least. It's only 10 bucks difference in the US, but it's really the ride that's the major difference. The Ghost Max, are, for me, more immediate. They're more responsive. They're a match for the Nimbus for the cushioned easy protection, but I think they're better at the faster paces because of that slightly firmer, snappier response. You know, I don't think the ASICs made the Nimbus better this generation. For my money, Brooks basically made a shoe that's incredibly Nimbus-like, but they kind of made it more versatile and marginally better. If you're looking beyond these two shoes, I'd also recommend looking at things like the New Balance 1080v13 and the Saucony Rise 17 as good options. This is quite an easy verdict for me because I do think the Brooks Ghost Max is a better shoe, a more enjoyable shoe all round, and it's the cheaper shoe, so it's the one I'd be recommending for sure. I think the rocker on it works really well. It's a very effective rocker, very comfortable, makes easy runs stick by very nicely, gives it a little bit more versatility than the Geon Nimbus, which I do think is just a soft, easy run shoe only. You know, I think it's a, more, it's a very comfortable shoe. It's got some natural stability there, and I do think it'll be a very easy shoe to recommend to lots of people. It's got great step-in for comfort. It's comfortable on the run. It's not quite as soft as the Geon Nimbus, so maybe you just want the all-out softness under foot then the gel nimbus provides it a bit better but the, i think the ghost is still you know soft and comfortable enough for sure and then a little bit more versatile and slightly more comfortable ride feel because of the rocker on the shoe gel nimbus is a really good cushion shoe as well but it's very expensive and it's not really anything that i think it does you know better than the ghost max if anything i think the ghost max is better in quite a few categories so yeah quite a simple versus for me this one i'll be getting the brooks ghost max so there you have it. That's been our head-to-head -head between the ASICS Gel Nimbus 26 and the Brooks Ghost Max. We hope you found it useful. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these shoes. So if you're running them or you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell to hear about new content when it lands. If you're interested in other kind of big max cushion daily trainers, I'm going to stick a couple of videos up on the channel that you want to watch now. Otherwise, it's been great to talk to you about these shoes and we hope to see you again soon on the run testers. Happy running, everyone.